This is Richard Deitch at the Sochi Media Center. I'm with my colleague, Brian Kazanuv. The games are about to begin, Brian, so let's talk about who the Americans to watch are. I'll give you three candidates, actually four people and two names, which should just about confuse everybody. The names are Davis and White. First of all, Shawnee Davis, who is at his fourth Olympics, his third as a competitor. He made the team in short track the first time, but he, as a long track guy, he has won the 1,000 meters twice, and he's won silver in the 1,500 twice. He has a chance to make it three in a row in the 1,000 here. I would also look at Sean White, who's also trying to three-peat in his specialty, which is the half pipe. Right. He will not compete in slope style. That's a development. He was going to try to win two medals here, but he'll stick to the one he knows best. And putting Davis and White together, you get the best ice dance team the United States has ever had, Merrill Davis and Charlie White. They've been going back and forth with a Canadian pair, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore, for the past four years. Right. And those two will have a very good chance to win here in Sochi. I like all three of those suggestions. And listen, I know as a very hardcore Winter Olympics person, you may not like to hear this, but I do think the American public is very interested in Lolo Jones. The driver-pusher combination is not named, I think. Am I correct about this for a couple of days? But obviously Lolo is going to be part of one of those two teams. And I think NBC is going to make that a major story. Well, she's certainly a big name coming over from track and field. Uh, she was a great hurdler and a pretty good sprinter. And obviously, sure. she brings a lot of speed to an event that requires speed in order to have success. Yeah. Alana Myers, who is one of the top drivers in the world right. and is the U.S top driver has said, look, the one thing about Lolo, you cannot go out and find her speed. Interestingly enough, bobsled could turn out to be something very interesting, at least in terms of American viewers. Yeah, let's not shortchange Stephen Holcomb, For who sure. was the driver of the night train, the great bobsled that won the four-man uh, in the Olympics four years ago. He'll be back with a new sled engineered by BMW and a chance to win both the two-man and the four-man. He has nine World Cup victories and 16 events in the combination of those two races and he'll have a chance to get two medals here the u.s hasn't won a gold medal in the two-man bobsled since 1936 and that could change with holcomb piloting that sled